It's my favourite thing, everybody. Complimentary bread. We all know the song. We are back, finally, at the Magic Kingdom on Main Street, USA. So, basically what we're going to do is like, we're just going to go on a couple of rides. Um, we have our dinner reservations for Tony's Town Square Restaurant at 5 past 4, nice and early, because we have Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party for tonight. That'll be a separate video, so go check that out if it's up already, like straight after this one. But this is we just wanted to film our reaction to entering the Magic Kingdom for the first time in two years, and it's so hot today, it's really humid and woo! Let me show sure there's actually anything too new for us to check out that I can actually remember, but oh, is it busy? Well, I think a lot of these people are actually leaving. But basically, you can go pick up your wristbands at like 4 o'clock. Well, I'll actually go into that much more in the next video. And it's just a bit before that, so we're going to run. Yeah, so. Get out of my theme park! Oh. And then. Laura got another birthday badge because she's celebrating her birthday. Oh, weekend she forgot hers. So basically they've changed where you get pick up like the celebration badges. It's no longer at guest services. I suppose that may kind of make sense because they were so busy guest services. Like, like, it's just really busy all the time. So to move that, they've moved into the Emporium. So just go to the, if it's your birthday, so you're celebrating anything, just go to the tills at the Emporium, just straight across from the guest services. And you'll be able to get one right there. And that's just the Magic Kingdom. But the badges are still fine for the other parks, but like at the guest services. But this is the busiest park, so makes sense. Yeah, go for just one day, this is the one. Loads of street theatre. I saw you love Main Street, it's just so alive and vibrant and big. Here we go, coming up to the castle. We've got a lovely shot of the castle in a minute as we... Yeah. <laughs> You're Disney! That's the thing, like, if you don't know, like, this is like a little bit of a slanty hill, so it makes, it's kind of like forced perspective, so that makes the castle seem bigger than it is because it's at the top of a hill. That's a very slanty, like... A it's a lot smaller at the top than the box. Yeah, at the top is a lot smaller, yeah. That's forced perspective, but that's one of those things that everybody seems to know, but if you don't know, you know now that it's Unless smaller. You up to the top, it's It'd probably be... taller than like the turret, but it's a Yeah. That's because, like, uh, there's a certain amount. Yeah, that's because buildings have to be a certain. If they're a certain height, if they're taller than a certain height in the state of Florida, they have to have like a red light. And Disney thought, well, no, that's going to kind of ruin the effect. So we'll make it smaller and just use force perspective, so you don't have to put a big red light on it, kind of ruining the effect. Red light's supposed to be for airplanes, by the way.
We still on our way to the Little Mermaid Woods. The Little Mermaid gets to ride the Clammobile. Turn up to the back of the castle. Oh, what song is this? Yeah, be a guest. Did you get that before us? Tommy! <laughs> that is why they're playing the song, because they're walking past the yeah, guest. We've been there a few times. If you want to see a review on it, go check it out. But we don't have reservations this time. They're incredibly hard to get, but. Well, the view kind of tells the reasons why we don't have reservations for it this time. Yeah. Hmm? Seven Dwarfs Line Train. We'll be going on you later! What? Well, of course, we always got that right, don't we? No doubt we'll end up on it at one point. <laughs> you just when you see people with like their Disney like custom shirts on and they've got Disney 2019 written on them. Yeah, no, it's not. No one told them to stop here. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> We're looking to the future, guys. That's the way ahead of us. 2019, we're, even though we're still in 2018, but... It's like, why are you... It's like, it's like humbug. It's like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> it's not, it's not Christmas. We will not celebrate Christmas. Here we go. Ready, got our fast passes ready. Let's go. Okay, the story began when Ariel fell head over fins in love. And then it began when Kent tried to ask Sebastian to keep an eye on So the other day, like yesterday, when I just broke down, isn't it? Keep your fins up, flippers, and the clamshell at all times. Let's have a look at the fountain. Let's have a closer look at the fountain, the legend of the fountain. Very nice. We're at the back of it, so we'll try and get the fountain in a bit. Yeah, and there's some nice artwork over there as well. Try not to get too many people in there eating, because it's a bit awkward being filmed. What the hell you are you meaning? We both ordered the spaghetti meatball. And our waiter is Italian. We sound Italian anyway. Authentic. <laughs> it's my favourite thing, everybody. Complimentary bread. We all know the song. <laughs> it basically is like, it's just, it tastes like a bit salted bread. With like the, uh, you can dip it in olive oil. I like that's Italian. But anyway, it tastes really, really good. It's like, it's, 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 I just love it so much. My favourite complimentary bread. So yeah, so I'll probably say like, just kind of skip the appetizers and just get the bread. It's so good. Okay, so the food has finally came. Oh, it smells so good as well. We've got some cheese on top as well. If we look closely at the meatballs, it's kind of like a hidden Mickey. 
in your food ish <laughs> very loosely term anyway i'm gonna eat this now it smells so good so there we go that's a review of tony's town square the food is always really good the service is always really good and absolutely always really good although a little bit noisy and busy it all hurt us for like an authentic Italian restaurant. But anyway, it's all like we really love this restaurant. We tell you, like I said, again, go here. So if you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to Pat Mike and hit that bell notification to start the next great upload. Comment below if you like Tony's Town Square or what you think of Tony's Town Square restaurant here at like Main Street or Liberty, whatever. Oh, yeah, Main Street US, right on Main Street USA. It's also been raining as well because we were inside. We had no idea of it. <laughs> So glad, really glad we didn't go outside then. But anyway, see you, like share this video. See you next one, guys. Bye, 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 bye.